North East is superbly well placed to uh, benefit from the new renewable energy industry. Uh, the primary reason is because of the heritage of this area. It's a really fun uh, industry to be in. There's so many different jobs that you can do. I've actually done engineering at school and from then I've always been interested in the subject. Renewable energy is basically taking our energy from natural sources, so things like wind, uh, solar power, tidal power, and it's completely in contrast to what we do currently, which is using finite resources, so things like oil, gas, coal. So what we're looking to do now is be at the heart of manufacturing the new wave of technologies. I'm Sally Poxon, I'm 26, I'm a graduate mechanical engineer, and now my job involves testing wind turbines. When I was choosing my career, it was really important to have a career that was a sustainable career, that was in an industry that wasn't harming the planet, that was actually reducing carbon dioxide levels around the world. In the northeast, the wind industry is growing massively at the moment. There's so much potential for new manufacturing facilities, new testing facilities, and development facilities for, for offshore wind, for onshore wind, and for uh, wave devices. So in the next, over the next 10 years, there's going to be a, an awful lot of growth and an awful lot more jobs available. I currently test blades which are approximately up to about 50 metres long but I'm designing a facility that will test blades up to 100 metres long. This facility will be one of the largest in the world when it's finished, but at the moment we have the largest independent testing facility in the UK. It's not unusual for a girl to be an engineer anymore or in any of the um, technical subjects. I think uh, there's so many different jobs that you can do. To get into a career like this, I would recommend you choosing science and math subjects. After school I had to choose where to go next, so I chose to go to art college for a year. I actually did an art foundation course, which was uh, really exciting. It's quite surprising for, to go from art into mechanical engineering, but I'm just one example of the many different paths you can take to go um, into the renewable energy industry and, and to be an engineer. My name's Liam Hunter, I'm 19 years old and I'm an apprentice at Seamus Newcastle working to be a CMM programmer. We'll get a blade through, I'll write the program on my computer in the office take all the measurements, what they should be, and then when the blade's actually manufactured, I take it in the CMM room and run the programme through on there and check it, the sizes that are produced by the programme against the sizes that I've taken and they should be like in comparison with each other. Maths in particular is very important. I do a lot of calculations when I'm writing the programmes. When I finish my HNC, I'll be fully qualified and I'll be able to like, operate as a CMM programmer, but I'm hoping that I'll get the opportunity to go on and do my degree and fail at me education and I saw the apprenticeship and I seen I was getting qualified getting qualifications for it um, I was getting paid at the same time and I just thought well it, all in all it's a, it's a better opportunity that you've got more chance of getting a job when you're finished. Engineering is one of the big opportunities in renewable energy but there's also a whole host of other functions to so things like if you're interested in finance and legal aspects of it. There's going to be all these new opportunities linked to renewable energy. There's jobs there now uh, in some of these technologies that are coming through. So big firms in this region are uh, taking on large numbers of graduates, apprenticeships, and um, people who are diversifying from other areas of work. There's going to be a whole host of jobs coming through. All of the government um, policy is pushing towards the development of renewable energy. So just one figure, for example, is that by 2020, 15% um, of all UK energy is expected to be generated from renewables. So you can see from where we are currently, it's around about 4%. So that's a major shift. You're looking at something like 7,000 offshore wind turbines going into the North Sea in the next 10 years. So there's real vast numbers. So perhaps you could envisage a scenario where in 20 years, maybe 10% of vehicles on the roads are electric, another 10% potentially using uh, crops that we grow, so things like biofuels. Electric vehicles for the North East is really crucial because we've got Nissan in the region, one of the, the first generation of electric vehicles coming through. That will be manufactured here and the college that's been set up around that and some of the skills that are needed to develop that whole kind of new infrastructure around electric vehicles. Again, this is going to be an area where young people can get involved with in the, in the future as a long-term career opportunity. I really 
love doing this job. It's really satisfying to be working in an industry that is rapidly growing and that is moving to new areas the whole time. Uh, working on prototype designs is really exciting because you're working on something that's never existed before that uh, could potentially change the world's energy crisis.